hello guys and welcome back to the sewing workshop today i'll be showing you guys how to cut this dashiki outfit it's going to be like a cut and join more of like a sedator but it's a little bit different and this is the picture of what it's going to look like and during the cutting process this is what it's also going to look like so without further ado let's get straight into the video and i hope you guys enjoy the video if this is your first time on the channel make sure you hit on that like button first and foremost and make sure you subscribe if you are yet to subscribe to join the family so without further ado let's get straight into the video and i hope you guys enjoy it so welcome back in order to cut out this now the very first thing we are going to do is to get the measurements from the center of our back to our sleeve length that's the spinal cord area to your sleeve length which i have 17 inches you can see dashiki sleeve length i have 17 inches here as you guys can see so now i'll be using that to fold my bodice so now i fold this at this is my bodice so i have my shoulder is 17 inches right so i'm going to have 17 inches you can see that and i'm going to add an extra two inches to that for the folding of the sleeve that's the edge of the sleeve i'll be folding it by two inches you should give me a total of 19 inches so i fold this entire bodice with at 19 inches as you guys can see so whatever your sleeve is is what you're going to be folding so here is the wrong side while this is the right side of the fabric so i just fold it so after that i'm going to measure my length which is 31 for the length of the outfit itself and i'm going to cut it out as you guys can see i measure my 31 length and i'll just cut it out so this is my front panel this is my front panel i believe you guys are following along and i believe you guys are paying good attention to the process so i'm just going to cut out the front panel so after that i'm going to cut out the back also so this one is not going to be part of it just so just that's the edge of the fabric just straight away so after cutting the front panel i'll be folding the back panel also which is going to be the same wideness which is 19 inches so this will be for the back so i fold 19 inches at this place also you can see that i'm still going to trim the side of the outfit but i want you guys to pay attention to this this will be easier to understand so i'll be measuring my length which is 31 before right so i'll be adding an extra four inches to that which will make it a total of 35 that's 31 plus 4 which make it a total of 35 so i'm going to measure my 35 here and i'm going to cut it out after i mark my 35 i'm going to shock it and cut it out as well so now we're going to be having our back and our front so now we have our back panel and our front panel so let me just cut this out so we can continue with the cutting process this is quite different from cutting a normal senator this is a dashiki cut and join but this dashiki the falling of the sleeve is a lot different from the normal straight sleeve dashiki that you've always been seeing this is like this is a cut and join because you're going to cut, cut out a sleeve on it also so here we have our back and our front as you can see so i'm going to place them one above the other this is my best formula of cutting anything it's a lot easier for me like this so i'm going to fold this together just align them so this is what we're going to have as you can see so the first thing i'm going to do now to continue our cutting is to slant my shoulder so i'll be slanting my shoulder by 3.5 inches 3.5 inches downward as you guys can see that and i'm going to connect you can see that the down part is longer than the front side that's our overlap so it's important that's why we cut the front at um 30 and we cut the back at 35 right don't forget that so i'm just going to connect this that's from 30.5 to our neck area you can see so i'm just going to simply cut that out you can see that Just going to cut that out very simple you can see what we have 
So this one we're going to have. After that, I'm going to align the edge, align the end parts. So I'm just going to drag that part below. You can see, just like that. Just like you're cutting a senator, but this is a lot different. So pay good attention to what I'm doing. I'm going to overlap the shoulder area. I'm just going to overlap that area as well. You can see that. By like half of an inch, I'm going to overlap by half of an inch. And I'm going to iron it and make sure it is balanced. Then we can cut our borders and cut our sleeve also. So pay good attention to the process. So in order to cut the total sleeve extension, now our chest is 37, right? Our chest is 37. In order to add an S east to that, I'll be adding 30. Now, 37 is going to be 38. I'll add 1 inches each allowance. So, I'm going to divide 38 into 4 places. So, 38 divided by 4 is going to give me a total of 9.5 inches. So, I'm going to mark my 9.5 inches at this place. You can see that. 2 inches sewing allowance to that. You can see that. Which makes it a total of 11 three quarter 11 three quarter you can see that so i'm going to measure that also at this place 11 three quarter so i can connect the two lines together you can see that so i'm going to connect the two lines together here you can see that I believe you guys are paying good attention to that so now i want you guys to pay attention to this place it's very very important now on the sleeve length you know we have 19 inches right so from the edge of the neck it's supposed to be a total of 17 inches after a fold right so from the edge i'm going to measure my 19 inches i'm just going to chalk it at that point you can see that because i will have to trim out that part you can see and here also i'm going to measure 19 inches so that i'll be able to trim down the edge so now the arm o circumference in which i want the arm to be itself because it's a dashiki even working with a normal senator outfit i'll be dividing my shoulder by two inches right just to get the formula of the arm o but because here i'm working with a dashiki i'll be adding an extra one inches in order to fill the o circumference which is nine plus one inches which will give me a total of ten you can see that so my arm o circumference is now ten inches but i'm not going to cut out an arm o so i want you guys to pay good attention here so the 19 inches in which i chalked before i'm going to connect it so that i can trim that edge you can see that so here all i'm going to do now is to connect a wing at that cuff area that's what's actually created the dashiki. So I'm just going to chalk just a wing, just a cuff from that area, just like that. You can see that. You can see what I did there. Just a cuff around that wing side. So I'm going to simply trim out that part. You can see. Now trim that, that part also. So pay attention here. So at this place, I'm just going to cut it straight, which is my main 19 inches for my um, dashiki sleeve length. So after that, you can see that I'm going to trim out the wing on the sleeve. You can see that. You can see what I have. So this is what our dashiki is going to look like. So our fold, which is two inches i'm going to fold i'm going to fold in the two inches at that edge right there so after folding my arm this is what it's going to look like you can see that i'll be having my total sleeve length which is going to be 17 you can see that you can see that it's going to be 17 inches so our dashiki is ready like that our length itself is supposed to be a total of 31, right? You can see. So I'll be folding like 1.5 or 2 inches actually. 2 inches at the M actually. 
so this is our dashiki is ready like this what i'll be doing now is to cut out my neck that's my neck circumference so my neck is um 16 inches so if you haven't seen the video of how to cut a neck circumference i have a formula for that just check the channel the channel just check the channel gallery i have like two videos on cutting out the neck so i'll be using 2.5 for my width and my and i'll be using 4.5 for my neck depth so i'm going to connect that together you can see so if i measure it i'm going to have um i'm going to have seven i'm going to have seven point seven three quarter i'm going to have seven three quarter no sorry i'm going to have eight it's it's one quarter so after the piping is going to come back to my 16 inches so after that i'm going to simply cut it out you guys can see that i'm going to cut my neck all so you can see what i have so our dashiki is ready this is what it's going to look like this is exactly what it's going to look like the next thing i'll be cutting now is going to be the um the front facing and the back facing also that's all just the front facing and the back facing also so let me cut that and show you guys the process and we can continue with the so in order to cut out the front facing i'm just going to fold my fabric into double just like this and i'm going to place this on it depending on how deep you want the facing to be so from that place it's going to be at a total of 11 inches and um i'll still be folding each of the edges you know so the total will go it's still going to be like around 10.5 depth for the um, front facing so if i measure it i have 11 you can see that i'll be folding like half of an inch at the edge which will make it a total of 10.5 right so i'm just going to cut out my neck at this area you can see that so now after cutting it out depending on how wild you want the front facing to be on this one i'll be working with 6.5 so I'll be folding half of an inch at each of the edges, 6.5. I'm going to align it together. And I'll simply cut it out. You can see. So that will be for the front facing. I'll be for the front yoke you can see what i have there it's just a simple design it should just be in the front of the as you can see the design that i showed you on the thumbnail that's what it's going to look like so on the back also i'm going to be cutting the facing which is going to be half facing it's not going to be a full facing like this as you guys can see so let me cut that as out also so after folding the fabric like this I'm just going to place this here and i'm going to cut depending on how deep you also want this to be i'm just going to place it just like this it's going to be like a let me let me just measure it let me just iron that part down so it's going to be straight so the total depth i'll be having is seven inches so i'll be folding like half of an inch so i'll be having 6.5 there so I'm, I'm also going to cut this out can see so you can see what i have now the wideness in how wide i want the the the, the back to be also so this one also is going to be at 6.5 i'm just going to mark my 6.5 so the back yoke and the front yoke are going to be of the same um the same white the same wildness so i'm going to connect that together 
and I'll simply cut it out. So that is the full process of cutting a cut and join dashiki outfit with sleeve. So it's very, very simple. So our cutting is ready and it's ready to go. So that is the full process of cutting this. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumb up. And if you're yet to subscribe, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys on another video. Peace and do enjoy yourself.